Hey there everyone, welcome to Crappy Reviews, the home of No Rules Reviews. And what does No Rules Reviews mean exactly? Well, it means whatever the hell I want it to mean. I don't adhere to any set professional standard, it's all raw and my own personal thoughts and opinions. And if you don't like it, don't watch. It's really simple, but there's always some idiot who doesn't understand what optional content is. So sad, actually. Today, I'm reviewing Watch Dogs 2 on the Xbox One. Now, if you're like me, you were probably suckered into the below-average first Watch Dogs game way back in 2014. Hey, don't worry, I bought into the hype too. But that game turned out to be very boring, stingy with achievements, and not very much fun. I think one of the main problems is that the protagonist took himself too seriously. The whole revenge plot has been played out long ago, and he wasn't a likable or compelling character. Now game characters, especially lead game characters, need charisma, and you need to appeal to the people actually playing the game. So obviously when Watch Dogs 2 was announced, I don't think many people were overly excited, hence the poor sales so far. Although the game has gotten quite a good amount of reviews, uh, you know, let me be the first to say that in my opinion the game is absolutely fun and absolutely fantastic. Graphics. Graphically, I don't know what Ubisoft did, but these graphics are absolutely stunning. They really have a handle and grasp on what the console hardware can do right now. San Francisco looks great, looks true to life, the character models all look amazing, the city is teeming with life. I'm really surprised how amazing an open world game like this looks. Just as amazing as how well the game performs. There's always something going on in the game and the frame rate seems deadlocked and solid. I have to say, one of the things I was most impressed with was the AI logic, which seemed to be on point in a way that I hadn't really seen in other games before. Now the ne that's next generation to me, that's what I wanted from the get go. And Watch Dogs 2 pulls that off nicely. Gameplay. When it comes to gameplay, Watch Dogs 2 is a third person action adventure game, and yes it does have stealth elements, if you choose to play it that way. Like I said earlier, it's an open world game, you can quick travel to certain locations, but otherwise you'll have to either walk or use a vehicle. Now you can either buy or steal a vehicle, sort of like in Mafia 3 you can use the car uh, app on your phone and it'll get you a car to your location, it'll tell you where there's one at. There's a main mission and a ton of side missions as well. Doing missions raises your follower count and that actually helps level your character up. When you earn points you can access the skill tree and improve your hacking, fighting and other attributes as well. You have to complete, complete circuits to open certain locks and these can be a bit difficult at times. But they aren't super hard by any means and you'll have this cool thing called the jumper which is like a rolling hacking device that can jump and it's like remote controlled and it's really really cool. And this helps you out when you can't get into a certain situation or a room is too small or something along those lines. Now you have a drone helicopter as well that gives you a bird eye view of everything and you can use this to help complete puzzles and see where enemies are and set up kind of traps and things like that as well. Uh, you can use your phone to set off electric shocks uh, on enemies or civilians and you can hijack cars, boats, motorcycles, buses, trolley, whatever. I mean you can do whatever you want. Ride on the trolley, it's pretty much true to life. Uh, you pretty much choose how you want to complete the missions whether it be with stealth and a stun gun or maybe just go in and boss hog it and kill enemies with it, like a machine gun or something. There's plenty of online options as well like hacking invasion, bounty hunts and like some co-op stuff as well. Now at the end of the day as far as the story is concerned it's technically a sequel after the events of the Chicago CTOS um, goes uh, to San Francisco. If you remember in the first one CTOS those are who Aiden Pierce is fighting and then in this one uh, they've moved on to San Francisco and it's up to DedSec to expose them for what they are. Now he plays a young hacker named Marcus whose personality is light years ahead of the first game's character Aiden Pierce who was like a snore. He's like a sleeping pill I swear to God. Now of course uh, there's a lot of jokes about hipsters and things of that nature, but the main plot is that the story and the characters don't take themselves seriously. Now, DedSec does their best to expose corruption of Silicon Valley uh, to the masses and gain more follows along the way. Now, it's a pretty decent story with solid characters and like character development, like as far as you can get into a game anyway. There's lots of laughs from start to finish. It's really fun. Like I just found it fun and refreshing and enjoyed it. Overall, I have to say that I was taken by surprise how good Watch Dogs 2 was. I put in over 50 hours, got a ton of achievements, something like around 700 gamer score. Uh, the game is easy to pick up, easy to grasp, tons of content, the online portion feels fun and not tacked on. It's the polar opposite of Watch Dogs 1. So if you were turned off by the staleness and boring characters in the first game, 
The second game writes all those wrongs and puts out a fantastic game. One of the best of 2016, no joking. I'm guessing a lot of people missed out on it because the first one was kind of bad. Fool me once type of deal, but it's really a good game. Watch Dogs 2 gets a fantastic 9 out of 10. Please remember to comment, rate, subscribe. Rack them up. Thanks for watching. Crap Gamer out.